Oh, hello there, my little students learning all about the animal totems. I am so happy to have you guys back here for another episode of Totem Tuesdays, Spirit of the Earth, um, here on Spirit of the Raven TV. Today, we are going to be going over an amazing totem animal. And if you are here because you just were looking for a butterfly totem, then your life is about to dramatically change. The caterpillar is over here. The butterfly is way over there fluttering. So if you are getting signs of a butterfly, then I want you to hold tight because you are literally about to go on the ride of your life as you transform from someone who is a little bit more limited in what they can do and to the extreme opposite, which is an expression of their divine self and letting themselves shine. So I am so excited to go over the butterfly and move through this transition with you. If you guys have any questions about anything, please feel free to drop it in the comments below. And then also, I did create a Facebook group for people if you want to uh, write about how you're getting signs or answer any questions other people have, or you just wanna connect with like-minded people. And I'm gonna put that uh, right here. And then also you can click on it in the link or in the description box as well. So with the elements of the butterfly, it is a creature that starts off with the earth energy of crawling, moving around, really hands on to the earth. I'm into a creature of the air where it is moving with the wind and you know, earth represents physical, like here the physical, whereas the air is more of the mental area. It's the also the manifesting ideals, um, epiphanies, aha moments, all of that goes into the air category. So whenever you have a creature that works with both the physical and then also the mental, we're talking about massive manifestation powers of being able to bring it down from the air into the earth. But the butterfly is not air to earth, it is earth to air. So that is gonna ask of you, first off, if butterfly is coming to you, you need to have an idea of what flying looks like. You need to be able to view yourself as this beautiful creature that's ready to branch out, show the world what you have, spread those wings and fly. You have to be able to envision it first and foremost to be able to make anything happen. So if you feel like you're just on a transformational ride, then that's totally fine because you don't, the caterpillar doesn't have to know what's happening to it but you're gonna have a way better time and have a way more guided transformation if you can focus in on what are those dreams? What does flying look like to you? So with any type of manifestation, you have to start exactly right here where you are. You are the caterpillar, my friend. If the butterfly is coming to you, I mean, you might be at any step in this evolution, any step. So only you, can know where you are on your journey. So if you feel like you are the caterpillar, then drop in right there and be like, I'm the caterpillar, this is where I'm at. If you know you're in the mushy phase of the chrysalis, then be okay being there. Wherever phase that you are at, breathe it in, appreciate the moment, appreciate every single moment because it's not about just the end journey of becoming a butterfly. It's about the experience of what it takes to make a transformation like that happen. So be present for every moment of it because later on in life, you're going to be really glad that you were fully there. So the caterpillar deserves way more props than it gets. It really, really does. Everyone's so concerned with the butterfly phase that they don't even really sometimes appreciate as much as they should the beautiful preparation phase that the caterpillar has to go through. So the caterpillar, it doesn't just sit around like on a mushroom in Alice in Wonderland blowing smoke rings and asking deep introspective questions to people. Though it might be asking you to do that. Um, but the caterpillar is ready to go. It's like, hey, we have to eat, we have to get food, I have to grow, I have to become as big and strong as I possibly can. Well, here's the thing. The caterpillar actually goes through multiple life transitions. 
which is something called instar, which is a molting process that a lot of insects will go from, from larva into their different stages. But the caterpillar actually goes through five different instars before its final molting, where it starts the you know chrysalis process. So the butterfly, its whole process is a transformation from start to finish. It is constantly shedding and allowing this newer version of it to emerge. So even as a caterpillar who's not yet flying, it's already seeing progress along the way. So if you are a caterpillar still on your journey, you're still gonna experience multiple transitionings as a caterpillar um, as you get bigger and prepare for your transformation into a butterfly. I want to bring this up because some people carry butterfly as a totem animal, um, as a personal totem animal that they walk with throughout their entire life. These people are going to have major life transformations throughout their life, whereas they are going to probably have that one big one that really just makes them branch out to like let their light shine. So if you are someone that has butterfly totem, just be prepared for this and accept it as part of your journey and as part of the beautiful medicine that butterfly comes with. So I want to talk about the first molting that the caterpillar does. The very first one, it's not actually a molt. This is, <laughs> I want to talk about its first breaking out of something. The butterfly lays eggs and they're like these tiny little sesame seed sized eggs underneath the leaves. And the caterpillar starts growing in that and eventually it has to break out of its shell. Just like all creatures that come from an egg, they come into this planet with a little bit of hardness that mammals don't always have. Because they have to, they have to break open whatever it is containing them. And obviously you guys know the caterpillar does this again later on in a more serious way, but this is the first kind of phase where it has to kind of be able to get itself out and moving. The universe and manifesting and God can only do so much for us before it's our turn to break out of our limitations and our barriers. So this is where the caterpillar's journey begins. And then the caterpillar goes on to shed five more times where it outgrows its skin and absorbs as much of it as it can. And then the rest of it looks like a snake skin coming off. I haven't done snake as a video, but I did write about snake and shedding and what that's like going through those cycles. And you know, that's not an easy process whenever we go through it as humans with our egos. That shedding is, ugh, you know, it's like, ew, I don't want to touch the skin. You know, and that's kind of what it feels like whenever we are letting go of these limiting behaviors that kind of hold us back. And that's what they are. They're limiting behaviors. It's like the feeling of knowing you have to do something and refusing to do it. It's kind of like letting that go so you can get bigger. Everything that the caterpillar does is to make sure that it can become the butterfly. So if you are in the caterpillar stage, like you need to be focused on what is your food? Like what are you growing right now to prepare for this next phase of your life? And then you know when the caterpillar has finally done everything it was supposed to do and it's ready to become the butterfly and it knows it's ready. And you're just like how it knows you're gonna know. You're gonna know that you're ready to make a move onto something greater. And this is the big one. This is not just like before where it just shedded a little layer. I mean, it really had to go in there. And if you are at this phase in your life, this can feel like a breakdown phase because it's scary. Like you're going into this dark cocoon and you have no idea what you're gonna become when you come to the other side. And that's, it's not an easy transition at all. It's not easy, not easy at all. So whenever butterfly comes around, that's why I respect that totem because it is not going to be pretty. The caterpillar hangs up upside down on the closest twig that it can get and it sheds its outer skin again. But this time it fully sheds it all around and it stays in it. And as the chrysalis gets harder, the caterpillar starts to break down into mush. That's crazy to me. So we're talking about like this little creature that had all these little legs and it was 
walking along and eating all these plants is now just mush, like this liquidy goo inside of its old skin. That sounds absolutely terrible. <laughs> if you think about you being that caterpillar, ugh, it's like your old ego is the only thing holding you together while the, on the inside you're crumbling and feeling like mush. That is a real human emotion that I have gone through before and I know a lot of other people have where you can feel like you're not this ego but that's the only thing keeping you together as you feel yourself, your inner self break to pieces. But this is so necessary because it's, it's the reconstructing of your life. Everything about who you were before is going to completely transition. The people you were around, the things that you did, the habits that you had, everything changes. Even the way you prepared. Like the way you prepared as a caterpillar is not going to be the same way you prepare as a butterfly. You cannot be anything that you once were. And because of that, whenever you get butterfly as a totem, it's going to really dig into you. It's going to be like, okay, here we go. Are you ready? Because you're about to become someone you've never seen before. And you have to let yourself be okay with the unknown of you don't know who you are becoming. And you're okay with that. Because that sometimes is part of the process of moving forward. I want you to understand too that being inside of this chrysalis is a sacred space. So I feel like this is the point that a lot of people give up. I think, and I don't want to make this video dark at all because it's about the butterfly, which is a creature of the light, halfway of the light. Because the truth is though, when you are in this mushy phase and you are about to break out into the person you've always thought you could be, there is a resistance that comes up, which is really important to bring up with the butterfly because the butterfly has to be strong enough to break the cocoon and this is crucial for her wings to be strong enough to work if anybody opened up this cocoon for her it would kill her so in your own life i feel like it's important to understand this phase of becoming someone new is not an easy phase it's called the resistance phase and the resistance phase is brutal it's basically life's boot camp it's the test you to see how bad you want it how hard are you going to reach for flying like how bad do you want to fly because you can't stay where you were you've outgrown your cocoon you've developed you're changed you know you're different and you're scared because you know you've left all your other friends behind all your caterpillar friends are still caterpillars some of them are turning into butterflies with you and some of them will never be butterflies and you have to be okay with that. You have to be okay with letting go and shedding everything, but you have to push. You have to push like a birthing. You have to birth out your life. And this is what makes you strong enough to fly. This is what makes you strong enough for success. So the resistance is gonna be your old ego, your old habits, the old people you used to mess with, you know, everything that is no longer serving you, that's what's going to be up in your face. And there's going to be doubt. There's going to be these beliefs telling you you can't do it. And I feel like a lot of the time it's in these, it's in this little phase right here that I think some people like, you know, commit suicide and things like that because they, they feel so broken down that they can't see and envision themselves becoming anything more than what they are. They feel like they've lost something because if you weren't realizing that you were moving from a caterpillar to a butterfly and all of a sudden you're this whole thing and everyone's like, look how successful you are because you're the biggest caterpillar. You've gotten all the leaves. Like you're chomping away. You're shedding. You've already gone through like all your five instars and everyone's like, whoa, look how much you've changed, you know? And then all of a sudden you turn to mush, your outer skin hardens as this like dead thing around you and you don't feel like yourself anymore. It's this old ego still on the outside and on the inside you are just not anything of what you used to be. Like that could really mess with someone. And I just hope that a lot of you, if you just happen upon this video, because you saw a butterfly or whatever it is that if you go through this phase that you know what this phase is okay it's just a phase your all your mush is going to rearrange itself into the spectacular being that you never knew you were like you would never see a caterpillar if you didn't know 
and then see a butterfly and realize that they're the same insect. And that's insane to think about with your own life of how much you're gonna change if you are getting butterfly as a totem right now. But we do wanna bring up as the butterfly, now that we've gone through all these hardships and all this work and all these preparing ourselves and manifesting and believing that we can and doing the inspired action to get there, breaking down our old beliefs and habits and patterns, we've turned to mush, we've let go of our old friends, of everything, completely trusted the universe, decided to just jump in it and see where life takes us. We're finally at the stage that we are the butterfly and we have spread out our wings, we're letting the blood rush to them and we are bracing ourselves for flight. And this is where butterfly coming to you as a totem can represent happiness, being uplifted, uh, belief systems, being positive, manifesting the life of your dreams. We're talking about colors, being artistic, creative, you know, going and going and getting flowers, you know, spreading pollen and, you know, playing with the bees and doing all the things, all the things that butterflies do. And then eventually the butterfly gets ready to lay her own eggs. And then she goes off and the whole cycle starts over, but she's learned her wisdom and now she's ready to pass on her DNA to the next generation because she's gone through every phase, every single phase it took for her to be ready to lay eggs, which means she has lived a full life from caterpillar to butterfly. Imagine that experience. All right, you guys, well, that is all I have for you today on Totem Tuesday. Check out the blog if you're still on the butterfly and you wanna learn more. Then also make sure you check out, not this Friday. Well, check out this Friday's uh, Kaka Time video because that one's actually really good. So that's in two days from now. There's gonna be a video on um, how you can connect with your psychic self and the ways to which you are more prominent to receiving signs. So if you're more prominent to getting um, signs through symbols or dreams, or if you're more prominent to hearing it on the radio, you know, so that video covers all the different ways that you can connect with source and your higher self and really hear the signs and synchronicities. But the next Friday, I'm going to go back over some big major death and rebirth that we just talked about because I feel like I'm so passionate about transformation. I just went through a major transformation myself and I definitely want to share about that. So, all right, you guys, well, I will see you next week for another episode of Totem Tuesday. So catch you guys on the flip side.